Today on Animal Fact Files, we'll be discussing anglerfish. For more facts on awesome animals, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anglerfish were recommended by YouTube user Abysme, who also created the music accompanying this episode. He's developed some amazing stuff on his channel, and we highly recommend checking him out. When you hear the name anglerfish, what immediately comes to mind? For most, the image that appears may look something like this. However, this, this, and this would also be accurate. This is because fish commonly known as anglerfish belong to the order Lophiformes, which is split up into five different suborders containing more than 300 individual species. These five suborders contain the fish typically referred to as monkfish, frogfish, sea toads, batfish, and sea devils. Technically speaking, any fish from any of these suborders could be referred to as an anglerfish. So, for the sake of clarity, today we'll be focusing on sea devils, or deep sea anglerfish. Any instance of the word anglerfish in this episode from this point forward will be in regard to these fish. Anyway, onto those freaky fishes. Sea devils are deep sea dwelling fish who typically live somewhere between half a mile and one and a half miles below the ocean's surface, though some live more than two miles down. Since they live in an area that's so difficult for us to explore, we have limited information on them, but some of the facts that we do know are pretty impressive. There are more than 150 species of deep-sea anglerfish and probably more to be discovered. Many species possess a bioluminescent organ that developed on the first spine of their dorsal fin, or the fin along their back, as a lure for drawing in prey. This is called an esca. The light of this lure is created via a symbiotic relationship between photobacterium and female anglerfish. Yes, only female deep-sea anglerfish had this lure. The males? Well, we'll get to them in a minute. It's also been documented that some species of deep-sea anglerfish are able to produce their own bioluminescence, making them the only group of animals discovered so far, according to the American Museum of Natural History, to use glowing bacteria and produce their own light. By this logic, we can surmise that the anglerfish seen in Finding Nemo is likely a female left-vent anglerfish, since she lights up even more upon discovering Merlin and Dory. But that's just a theory! Uh in a study of monkfish, it was discovered that they seem to favor dining on crustaceans and other fish. Perhaps deep-sea anglers seek out similar meals as well. Sea devils may also consume squids, as suggested by Nat Geo Wild's YouTube video titled Weird Killer of the Deep. Whatever they eat, it's likely it's only the females doing most of the munching. What male sea devils lack in the esca department, they make up for in the size of their nose. It's assumed that this adaptation has occurred due to the single life purpose of the male deep sea anglerfish, to find a mate. The deep parts of the ocean are a dark and mysterious place, the kind of place that will make you want to hold tight to your significant other and never, ever let go. When a male sea devil meets up with a female, he will latch onto her with a big bite at her belly, and over time become fused to her body, becoming solely dependent on her. It's not uncommon for a female deep sea anglerfish to have five or more males attached to her at any given time, and all of this to ensure the survival of their species. With the males taking codependency to a whole new level, this gives females open access to sperm at any time she is ready to produce offspring. Deep sea anglerfish are typically less than a foot in length, with males appearing smaller than females. They are usually dark brown or gray in color and can often appear black as well. One of their defining characteristics is that they lack a pelvic fin after very early stages of life. They're considered to be the most species-rich group of animals found in the deep ocean, and more species are being found at a steady rate. As recently as 2015, a new species was found in the Gulf of Mexico. Hmm, maybe I'm dating the episode in saying that though. For more facts on sea devils or deep sea anglerfish, please read through the links in the description. Thanks again to Abysme for the suggestion and this awesome soundtrack. Let them know what you guys think of it in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up for weird creatures of the deep, and we'll see you next time on Animal Fact Files.